wall again. I that was that wasn't just a free screen. That was me frozen. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to another video of mine, and yep, this is another story time. <laughs> a great cook a fantastic cook the best cook that I would ever like I would ever want it because she you know she whenever we go to a restaurant and try something nice she can always make it at home she was just taste it and then okay I know how to make it and the next day she's gonna make the same thing out of it so she's a great cook but I would say every great cook oh will always have at least one disaster and this one disaster is my worst nightmare for food and it's my mom's worst cooking as you can see from the title, it said she puts sand into my rice. Is it? Hmm. Well, it starts like this. So, if I would give you some meal, my family is very strict on health, which means, uh, and especially for my mom, who will watch a lot of TV shows, uh, read a lot of newspaper, read a lot of books and stuff, just to learn how to cook food and soup and make drinks, anything that keeps us healthy. So she's very concerned with our health and I'm really grateful and thankful for her for being that. But you know, sometimes it's not too good to be too extreme. So that is time. So uh, as usual, I was having, l I was going to have lunch with my family. So my mom cooked and then here it is. So for the Chinese culture, you always have rice in your main course. You have dishes and you have rice to eat it together, right? So for our family's rice, it's a slight, so something slightly different. It's not just white rice in it. You have different things things in it in our rice with red rice in it we have black rice in it we have brown rice in it we have different chinese medicines in it we have i don't know herbs in it we sometimes we have beans in it we have corns in it anything a lot of things in it and then we mix it into one bowl of rice and according to my mom it's going to be you know good to our health good to my sensitive nose a lot of things so it's normal that we see a lot of random stuff in our bowl of rice however that day when i had my rice i saw some really strange little white dots on it i thought well perhaps it's a new herb so I didn't bother to, you know, get a taste of it before, uh, you know, I mix it with some of the, my favorite dishes of food. So, yeah, I grab, perhaps, I think it was chicken, I grab a piece of chicken, and then I'm going to scoop some rice and eat it the chicken together. The moment I put those into my mouth, my expression turned from joy to... Something like that, which is, means that it tastes, it tastes horrible. It tastes like nightmare. Why? Ah, oh, well, that's what I did. I didn't know why at that moment. I feel like I just ate a f spoonful of sand in my mouth. And I looked at my mom and asked, Mom, very calmly, Mom, what did you put into my rice? My mom's like, Oh, um, it's eggshell. I was like, Mom, eggshell, really? Yes, it's good for your bones. It's good, you know, more calcium. Eggshells, calcium. Equal. Good for your bones. Mom, you put eggshells into my rice. These white dots are eggshells. Yes, I crush them. Crush them, okay? Easily consume. She puts eggshells into my rice. And that, oh my god, that sensation. I can never, never forget. If you don't know what that feels like, you can try it yourself. You can either crush the eggshells, put it in your rice, and mix it, and then stuff it in your mouth. Or you can go to the beach and then grab a handful of sand and stuff into your mouth. Then you know what the sensation is like. You will never forget that. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. And then, well, just another person, just to add, is that my dad always bring lunch to work. And on that very same day, my mom also put eggshells into his rice. And the moment, the second he stepped into the house that night, the first thing he asked my mom is, what did you put in my rice? My mom, knowing what I react, said very softly, I put eggshells into your rice. My dad was like, Eggshells? <laughs> yes, me. Yep, that. Eggshells. My dad just shook his head and said, please, please don't put eggshells into it anymore. Please! And then for the rest of the month, we were always frightened, skeptical when we looked into our rice. Whenever we looked into our rice, before we put a spoon into our mouth, spoonful of these rice in our mouth, we looked at my mom and asked, did you put eggshells into the rice today? Mom was like, no. We still don't trust them. We just looked at her skeptically. 
Really? So yeah, this is the you know story about my mom's worst cooking. But I'm not blaming her for putting you know all these things. I'm just you know sharing the experience because I know because she's she just want to you know she's just concerned about our health. She just want us to be healthy, and she thinks that's the best for us. It's just that we don't accept it. But it doesn't mean she's wrong or she's a bad mom. She's the best mom that I will ever have, uh, and that's why I would say that um, I am grateful to have her a mom and. You know, Mother's Day is coming soon, and of course, Happy Mother's Day to her. Happy Mother's Day to you, Mom, and I love you. Uh, anyways, uh, what's your mom's worst cooking? I know a lot of moms have their worst cooking, but still, we love them, right? So yeah, if you want to share it, comment below and tell me what's your mom's worst cooking. Share your story like me, and um, always remember to you know, give a big thumbs up and subscribe. Anyways, thanks for watching and of course end this video by saying remember to stop existing, start living and be alive. Bye!